This is the 2017 Subaru WRX STI model. Before I launch into the review of this car, I think it's very important to understand the legacy of this car. It originates from the World Rally Championships, and I'm going to show you the actual races to which kind of its kind of forefathers actually belong that gave rise uh, to this particular car. So there's a Subaru Impreza, and we're just going to have a look at how they performed. So a short performance of the Subaru Impreza's, the rally cars, and it's quite a, an ex exclusive addition to see this. And then afterwards, I'll talk you around the actual car. Let's see the list again. Collins. behind it here you have the Japanese Subaru WRX it's an all-wheel drive sports car it's originally based on the Impreza's that you've just seen which kind of stem from their legacy of rally car championships now this particular car is the 2017 Subaru WRX edition it reaches a top speed of 159 miles per hour and does 0 to 60 in 5.26 seconds. It's a six-speed manual and uh, for, 2.4, for a 2.4 litre engine it produces 300 horsepower. But this is not necessarily just about numbers. It's about how it handles and the performance that comes out of this car. Now, just looking at this car, um, I quite like this Hyper Blue Special Edition. And it's uh, very rare to see one of these in London or, in fact, in England. One, because of the running costs, um, its kind of um, availability It's much more expensive compared to its competitors. But just having a look at this particular model, I quite like the front uh, kind of flared front end fenders here as it kind of curves towards the back. The kind of lights as it kind of goes in there, it still retained its racing kind of features I like these 18 inch BBS alloy wheels and it has these lovely fluorescent lime green brake calipers and it's overall kind of Subaru kind of rugged look gives it that particular edge particularly with this wind spoiler now the downside of this car is that it's loosely based on the Impreza, the inside of the car, the interior, is not as kind of well made. However, despite all of that, you don't get the racing legacy of a rally car. And it is quite a unique thing to have. Of course, you can get a Golf GTI or a Golf R, which obviously, you know, I'm a big fan of because I've owned a GTI in the past before. But the the kind of rally performance that you'd get from this car is sublime just to hear the engine and it actually really is a striking car especially with all this kind of legacy that i've shown before so incredible to see i hope that you've enjoyed this particular episode if there is anything that you would like me to review please do let me know in the comment section below otherwise until then take care goodbye